Hi, I'm Dan, and this is Everett, and we are going to show you today how to make a face mask and shield that conforms to the CDC guidelines for a homemade mask. This is not intended to be an N95 rated mask or any form of rated mask. It's not intended to compete with special <laughs> masks. I know, the idea is silly, isn't it? Everybody silly. I know, we're being silly. Um, but this is something you can do at your house that can protect you and hopefully you'll make a few extras and donate them to your local hospital or your physicians. So give you an idea of where we're heading. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate how it works. So this mask has a wire inside that allows you to have a nose brim, which you can then form to your face. So you tie that. I know, it's kind of spooky sometimes when people wear masks. But if you wear a mask, it can save you from transmitting or receiving respiratory droplets that have virus in it. So there we go. So there's the face shield attached to the mask. I know. So that's the Velcro part. And now, we're gonna show you in six easy steps how to build it. Okay. Step one is cut stuff. So the easiest way to make sure everything is cut the same every time is just like Everett's showing, create a template out of a piece of cardboard. And with Amazon, we all probably have lots of cardboard around. And then, so what you'll need is a nine inch by 10 inch piece of 100% cotton fabric. I just used premium muslin fabric, which I got at a local fabric store. You see it fits nicely in our square here. Then you'll need two, two by two squares, which are both there. You'll need two uh, sets of Velcro and having the two inches marked out on your template allows you to snip really quickly the different lengths of Velcro, and you have to be very fast to keep everyone focused on task. So we have our Velcro, we have, oops, where did the wires go? There they are. We were keeping them away from our Marauder. Um, so six inch wire, and I have that six inch point marked on my template, so it's easy to quickly mark something. So, uh, the local fabric store just had this bias tape here, which serves well to make the straps. And so you're going to need four 12 inch pieces of the bias tape. You can cut quickly like this. All right, so now we have our bias tape, we have our wire, we have our cloth, have, and then we also I have, have a, a have piece a of duct tape. Everett has the two-sided tape for us. Thank you, Everett. And so this is a three-inch wide piece of duct tape. And so we're just going to cut that in half to make one eight-inch by one-and-a-half-inch piece of duct tape right here. Okay. All right, so the other thing that I forgot was the important face shield. So this is a holder for a uh, photo album. So it's like a slip that you can use. And so you can take this right here and just cut the edge like that. And then now you have two face masks. So step two, mark stuff. The other nice thing about having your template all laid out is it's very easy to mark your center points. So here I'm marking six inches on either side, which I will use to position the Velcro later. And this here is the actual mask. And so I'm gonna mark the halfway point on either side so I know where to fold it. Then also two inches in from one corner, that way I know where to position the lower Okay. Step three is assemble the nose bridge. So you lay your piece of duct tape uh, sticky side up 
And then you have to be very careful to place the wire in the middle of it. So center it in every way. So there we go, leaving an end on either side. And then place the fabric Mine. on either end. Mine. And then carefully fold it over. There's always there's always demand for more resources. In this case, Everett is very concerned that we won't have enough supplies. <laughs> so that's something that you should thoughtfully navigate. I should navigate. put the supplies. Yeah, you need supplies. I need okay. to put the supplies. Okay. Step four, sew upper mask. So now what we do is take a little piece of two-sided tape if you want. I've done it without the two-sided tape and it works just fine. It's just a little harder. I'm putting the wire side in the very middle. You on, fold on this a, over. On. No, I've already got a piece of tape, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Though. So you, you have to be that. careful to keep the wire at the top. That way your needle doesn't hit it. And then you take two pieces of the Velcro. I like keeping the cloth side of the Velcro on the cloth. The plastic side of the Velcro, we'll put it on the plastic face shield. Just like this, and then you bring this over here, is this on? All right, now that our sewing machine is on, uh, we can just place it in here and See now we have the upper part of the mask done. And so what I'm using here for thread is what the fabric people told me was really high quality um, Guterman thread. And then for the settings, can you come on here? Yeah. So I'm using what someone taught me was a flexible stitch. Uh, the red one, I have it on the S2. No, Everett. Um, and then I'm making as wide as possible a stitch, especially when we get to the plastic. That'll be helpful so it doesn't break through the plastic. Okay, step five is sew the lower mask. Alrighty, so the lower mask, we're going to need uh, to figure out what happened to, there it is. Everett uh, decided it was better off uh, elsewhere in the house, but we disagreed. So put a little two-sided tape here on the lower corners, which is why we marked them beep, earlier. Beep, beep. And we position these here. here. And we just fold this right over. So then we come back to our sewing machine. Not the most. So this is the face shield, the clear piece of plastic. And here are our two two by two squares. And what we wanted 
do is put some two-sided tape on either side. And again, um, I did this without the two-sided tape and it worked just fine. It was just a little harder. And now, here's where our dots really make it helpful. So you can position these dots just so. That way you can then fold over the fabric. Just like that. Position the dots. I have two there. Like a tow truck coming in. Yeah. There's a tow truck. The tow truck is an important part of any mask building endeavor. The more trucks you have, the happier you are as a person. So I've been told. It's a me. It's a okay. car coming. Now we have to be really careful to not sew the plastic by itself. <laughs> I'm not actually a seamster or seamstress, however you say it. I'm a so I'm probably not having best technique or whatever it might be called. But look at that. It's sewn together and that will hold the face shield onto the face mask. And in addition, because we folded over the piece of fabric, we can take apart our fabric here and insert an additional filter if we want. If you have a layer that your organization or that you feel might help the filtration of the air better, you can stick it in there and then attach this with staples or even just a piece of tape. This here can be laundered on high uh, heat. That way you can kill some bacteria or maybe you uh, And this here, you can just wipe clean with hydrogen peroxide or with a bleach solution. You can find instructions for on the CDC website. Good luck.